Okay, guys, I've got this really amazing, simple hack for your Thanksgiving season. Basically, how to take all those Thanksgiving flavors, those fresh herbs and caramelized onions, and bottle it up into like a little elixir that you can just put on anything. Magic potion, instant upgrade. Dude, that smells so good. It's like a really easy one step process. Okay, so let's get started. First things first, I'm taking a pot of oil. I'm gonna use grapeseed oil, just because it's really neutral in flavor. If you use a strong olive oil, as you heat it, it could oxidize too, which can make it a little bit bitter. So I would use a grapeseed oil or a canola oil, something neutral. And what I'm gonna do is heat the oil to about 145 degrees Celsius. And what that's gonna do is be hot enough to neutralize these enzymes very quickly without damaging the flavors and aroma compounds in the herbs that I really like. So I've got shallots here, which I like shallots for this. I think they're a little, you know, a little more flavorful and they kind of get sweeter even. Look at how big this garlic clove is. It's as big as a shallot. What? If you guys don't know about elephant garlic, you're behind the curve. So these, you just want to slice thin. We're just trying to increase surface area. Fry the shallot and the garlic until it's nice and golden. Meanwhile, I'm just gonna weigh some spices. Coriander here, black pepper. You can grind these, you can blitz them. I'm just gonna do like a little crack. You hear that sound? We'll throw them in. I have a little secret that I like to add. It's this stuff, instant non-fat dry milk. So I'm doing a little bit more because I want to up this one. I think it's about 60. No way. Six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's what I got here. So I'm gonna add those right into the oil and everything in here is gonna start to caramelize. Lemon peel, I just love it. I don't even need to measure too much of it. Anything you wanna taste like Thanksgiving, you put this oil on. It's really easy. I bet you could make like a yummy little pasta with this. Just like chili flake and this. Oh, like, yeah. it's like Thanksgiving spaghetti. <laughs> The bubbles, you can see, are even getting finer and finer and finer because there's less and less moisture, less and less you know, protein emulsifying, making big bubbles. So I'm just waiting for everything to get brown. You want to go a little bit slower because you want to get rid of all the moisture. I can see the milk solids are getting toasty. Nice! Nice and caramelized. It's a little bit longer. It's a fine line. You don't want to go too much. You don't want to go burn. It starts to get bitter. I want to keep that sweet. Okay, so I'm gonna throw the thyme in, and the thyme's gonna kinda like snack, crackle, pop. Just keep your eyes away from the pot when you do this. The herbs are heating very fast, which is just basically neutralizing all those enzymes. I'm gonna add my rosemary. At this point, pretty much all the herbs go in, so I'm gonna do the rest of my chive, sage, fresh bay. This isn't gonna really work with dried herbs. I mean, it'll work with dried herbs, but you're just not gonna have that fresh flavor, you're gonna have dried herb flavor, you know? This is beautiful. Last thing I like to add is the lemon peel because I just want it to be fresh. I don't want it to heat up too much. Yum. Look at that. It's like just a pile of foresty fried stuff. Deep fried forest. So let's throw it in a Pyrex or really any kind of dish. We found if you just let it sit, you know, for an hour, two hours, or even overnight, it's really that much more flavorful. You can use it actually right away, it's just gonna get better as it sits. This one is the one we did last night. This is what it looks like after sitting for a day. It's not bright green, but it's got like a little green hue to it, and the aroma is just insane. You don't have to strain it super fine. I mean, because all these herbs in here are tasty, they're just gonna get in the way of using it now, and all that flavor is now in the oil. This is it. This is my yummy herb oil. Just super, super aromatic, like sweet, caramely onions. It really does smell like Thanksgiving. So, what do you do with it? Roasty Brussels sprouts. Mm. I guess you can make stuffing into this like stuffing essential oil that you just put on everything. So good. Carrots. It's chanterelle season. I'm just gonna use it instead of regular oil. It tastes like Thanksgiving. Here's one of my favorites right here. Something simple like this. So this is like roasty baguette with a little ricotta. Whoa! You got your pork loin, same thing. You just put it on this, you put it on that. Upgrade your gravy. All those lovely Thanksgiving smells and aromas. You know when you walk into somebody's house and they're cooking Thanksgiving all day? All that, you get packed into one little bottle. 
and you just put it on anything you want. Everything becomes Thanksgivingified instantly. Herb oil. Watch some Harry Potter. Well, like an American cacio pepe, like a cheddar. That's just mac and cheese. Mm. Oh no! Make a snappy, dude. This is I can't slow this down now. 